All right, here's another vintage Tektronix oscilloscope. This is one of the ones that was broken. I wasn't going to do anything with because it's don't really need it. I don't think that's very, I think it's only probably a 20 megahertz scope. I've got this one up here, this 585A that's working perfectly that uh, yeah, I can use, but this is a similar design. Has the same time base uh, structure, just uh, you know, it's a, a lower uh, frequency unit and different uh, plug in modules. And I think this one was from 59, where this one's from 64, a little higher performance, higher price unit. But I figured I'd try to get it running. Now, I've been getting no display on this, so. Uh, my first step was to go ahead and just measure all of the uh, low voltage connections up here. So you see you got 150, 100 volts, you know, 225. Most of those seem to be okay, except the 500 had a bunch of ripple on it. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe the filter cap on that one is bad. So I looked in the... Uh, Get a lot of glare off this. Let me turn that off. Yeah, that didn't help too much. Anyway, right there is the filter cap on the uh, 500 volt supply. So there's the 500. You go back, and it says it's supposed to have 7 millivolts of ripple. I've got like 30 volts of ripple. <laughs> so I'm thinking that uh, capacitor right there is bad. See uh, 760B. And here's C760A is right over uh, just on the other side of the, uh, uh, the diode bridge. So what I did is got the uh, uh, ESR machine up here. Let's go ahead and zero it. Ooh, like that. Let me put it on the capacitor ground. And this is the cap right here. Okay, there we zeroed out the um, leads. And when I go to one side of it, I get basically an infinite resistant or ESR. I go to the other side because it's a two section cap. I get the same thing, infinite. But if I go to some of these other caps, you know, they seem to have standard. You know, there's a 1.6 ohm on that one. You know, here's a pair that's parallel together, and they're 1.4 ohms. So, looks like that cap's bad. So, but that's a can cap. And it's right down here, underneath this. It's that first black one right there. I'm not going to replace that, but I've got some, uh, what that is, is a uh, 40 microfarad at 450 volts, and I've got a couple of these. So I'm going to try popping these in there underneath the, uh, you know, put them down here somewhere, underneath the chassis, and pull this one out of the circuit, see if that improves the ripple on the 500 volt supply. I removed that uh, can capacitor out of the circuit and hooked up a couple of uh, replacement uh, 40 microfarad caps. And that has eliminated the ripple on the 500 volt supply. So all of these are looking really good now. So low voltage is good. Uh, on to checking out the high voltage. All right, working on the uh, Type uh, 535A, which has uh, high voltage power supply issues. So, so far I've replaced a bunch of the high voltage caps over here. I suspected uh, some of them were uh, phys or, uh, electrically leaky, and I actually found one that was physically leaky. Yeah, right there, when I pulled it out, my hand was full of uh, some kind of fluid that was leaking out of it probably poisonous so I had to go wash that off real quick 
But I got a bunch of them replaced and I started doing these over here underneath all the high voltage rectifiers. So I got to desolder those to get them out of the way. Unfortunately, I broke off the anode wire off of one of these. So I was hoping to reuse these. This thing's 565s. Very cool old uh, you know, tube based uh, high voltage rectifiers. But that one's gone. So I ordered some uh, high voltage silicon diodes. So I'll probably at least replace that one that goes there. Maybe all of them. Um, we'll see. But I got some capacitors down here replaced, and there's a couple more underneath these uh, diodes that need to be done, and one more here, too. But even in its current mode right now, with one uh, rectifier missing and this one pulled up, it's generating enough voltage to actually get a, uh, a trace. Let me demonstrate that. There we go. Stay away from that since it's got some high voltage on it. But there's a trace. Not looking too good, but uh, it's at least there. So I know that uh, CRT is okay. So I will go ahead and uh, not leave this on for too long. I'll go ahead and keep working on these and try to get everything uh, replaced in there. And uh, I think this is going to be a good scope. Uh, I've replaced all of the. Uh, rectifiers, the old uh, tube rectifiers with uh, solid state high voltage diodes you know, all right down in there and most of the capacitors, there was one I left in there because I didn't have a replacement but um, high voltage supply is now working correctly getting a nice display on the screen so I think uh, this one is repaired I'll go ahead and put the sides back on and uh, give it a quick test and see how it looks. Okay, looks like this one is done. Put the sides back on it. It probably still needs uh, <clears throat> some calibration and a little bit of cleanup, but it's working. We're getting the display. I'm on channel B right now. Both channels are working. Got a bad connection here. There's the output so so again this is the uh, type uh, 535a oscilloscope from I forgot now 50s late 50 59 I think this one came out and this one had the bad uh, had the bad filter cap and the low voltage power supply and then some bad capacitors and uh, rectifiers in the high voltage power supply. So I replaced all of the uh, tube high voltage rectifiers with solid state ones. But I'll hang on to these in case I need to do a uh, repair of one of these other um, oscilloscopes. And just have one of these go bad. But this looks good, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I've already got a number of these, but uh, they're cool old scopes. If I don't find a home for it, I will hang on to it. And here we go. This is the last of the uh, ones that I got for free that were going to be thrown away. So uh, I didn't think I would get these two ones uh, fixed up and working, but I wound up... Uh, having the time to do it. So now all five, I'm five for five on old vintage Tektronics oscilloscopes. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.